one of the comments he got on Instagram was, you can't just fit a line to dots. I, I, I think this is uh, helpful to go through conceptually just to really hone in on what's actually happening. A three-step demonstration on what's actually happening underneath the hood for multi-level meta regression. So one of the first parts of this process that we mentioned was that it's, port it's important that we have studies that can pair the uh, variable of interest, right? So in step one here, you can just see all of the individual data points. And so those are separated by trained and untrained purely for visualization purposes that kind of represent all, all of the effects in our data set. Now, what people think is happening is that you're just fitting a line to those dots. However, each one of those effects belongs to a study. And so you have what's called clustering or you're creating a level in the data set where multiple effects belong to a study. And those effects have different levels of volume. And so what you can do is you can create Create what are called within study slopes that are representing the dose response relationship of each effect in a study in isolation. So that's essentially allowing for the within study comparison of volume level A versus volume level B within a given study where all the other variables in that study are accounted for load, proximity to failure, intervention, training status, all those things are, are comparable, which is why it's advantageous to calculate those studies uh, within study slopes. 